Hi guys, welcome. My name is Tamara and this is actually my first video. So I wanted to start a YouTube channel for quite a while, but I guess I just never really, I don't know, I guess had the courage to do so, but here I am and I'm super excited. Um, I plan to upload videos twice a week and there'll be videos just like this one, luxury items, unboxings, reviews, that kind of a thing, as well as some beauty and fashion, a little bit of lifestyle, decor, family kind of stuff. So if you like to watch those videos like I do, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up at the end of it. That would just make my day. Actually, it'd probably make my week or even longer. But um, I'm super excited, so let's just get into the reason that you clicked on this video. So today I have a review for you on the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I'm just trying to get that focused for you there. I'll give you a quick overview of the piece and then I will go on to talk a little bit more about the features and my review on it and my recommendations. So to start with, I have the monogram canvas, the six ring key holder with the fuchsia interior. So with the canvas, it's one solid piece of canvas, if you can see that. Just one straight solid piece of canvas, which is great. It's got a push button here to open and close. And if you get the colored interior like this one, you'll get um, the button is also colored. So this is, I believe, a leather coating and it's the fuchsia color. Some people worry about that, but I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in a second. And then this is the inside of it. So that's the six key rings here and then the fuchsia interior color. I'm gonna talk a bit more about this color too because sometimes it's hard to kind of get the true color of this piece. So my piece, it says here Louis Vuitton of Paris and my one was made in France. As you know, that's where Louis Vuitton originated, the flagship stores in Paris. I love when I get pieces that are made in France. I think that that's really cool, but it's not like a make or break it for me. I believe that Louis Vuitton also manufactures in Spain and the USA and maybe somewhere else, but I'm not 100% sure. So you may get pieces that still say they're like Louis Vuitton Paris, but then made in, might be made in Spain or wherever it's being made. It also has a little pouch pocket kind of behind here. Let's see if I can get that into the camera. So you see that there. So that's a little slide through pocket and that's really cool because you can actually put like a credit card or your ID, you can even fold up some money and pop some money in there. So it's really helpful if you're just like running out of the house or running into the shop or the store somewhere and you um, don't need to take a whole bag with you or your whole wallet even, you can just grab your keys, pop your money in there, your license maybe and off you go and it's really convenient and easy. I will say though that it doesn't, it holds a fair few cards in there if you're trying to put some cards in there. It does hold quite a few. With the key fob in, it will hold less than if you didn't have a key fob in there. It'll close a bit better. Once you start to get above like three to four cards, so you approaching like five or six cards and you have a large key fob like I do and you pop that in there, you kind of can't really close it properly when there's too many in there but if it's only if you've only got like two or three then I find that it still closes really quite easily. So just quickly as well with the button I said I was going to talk about that a little bit more. So a lot of people are scared away from these leather buttons because they either wear very easily, they get scratches and when they get scratched it scratches off like the colouring and obviously that turns around and doesn't look so nice and people don't really like that. So what I did is I used a clear coat of um, top polish, nail polish. I just put a clear coat on there. I went for, you can use any uh, nail polish. There's no particular one I think that you have to use. Just keep in mind that if you do do that and you use like a shine, then that may appear shiny. So I used a matte polish top coat. I think it was by Revlon or something. And I just, when I first got the wallet, I just kind of protected around the canvas and I put one coat on and then I let it dry and I put a second coat on and I have now had this piece and I've been using it every single day non-stop for at least six to seven months, probably closer to the seven month mark, maybe even a little bit longer. And I use this every single day. I do not baby this piece whatsoever. 
my two-year-old plays with this piece and runs around with it and he's obsessed with the keys and brum brums so and I still have noticed no scratching, no wear and tear or anything on this button. So I'll bring it up close so you can see. You wouldn't even be able to notice that I um, put the top coat on there. I don't think you can, I can't even notice it. You wouldn't even know. So for me, that's worked out really well. I would suggest doing it if that's something you're worried about. You want to get one of these pieces, but you're worried about the colored button. I definitely would suggest putting the top coat on just to protect it. Oh, I'm in love with the color. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. So with this color, what I love about it is that when you open it in the shade or you're inside or you're in like a shadier kind of area, the color appears a little bit darker and deeper. And then when you're in the sun and the sunlight, it's more brighter. Now I would describe this fuchsia color as more of a raspberry color. I would stay away from the red, the maroon, um, burgundy, that kind of colors. And I would really call it more of a deep raspberry. So it definitely has a slight pink undertone to it, but it's not pink. I wouldn't call it a pink. Um, it's definitely that deep raspberry. So in the shade, it's kind of like a darker color. And then if you can look, if I put it in like bright light, it kind of gets a bit brighter and pink. Cause that was a big deciding fact for me. If you're online looking and you can't really get a sense of the color. And I tried to jump on and see reviews and stuff. And I felt like no one really touched on the color. What I will do for you though, really quickly is I will grab my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, which is pink. Give me just one second. All right, I'm back. So I just quickly grabbed my Louis Vuitton. Uh, this is the Emily wallet. I think it's Bloom edition. Anyway, if you can see on the inside, this is pink. And I wonder if you can tell on the camera the difference. So this is definitely a pink, a hot pink. And that's coming up much more, I don't know if it's coming up more maroony, kind of ready, but it's much more of a raspberry color. So a very deep color. So when I bought this, it was $300 Australian. I think it's gone up now to about $310 Australian. So it's a lot of money to be spending on a key holder. So you want to make sure that you're really happy with the piece you know, and that it's exactly what you want for that kind of a money. All right, so the way that it works on the inside is you've got the six key slots here and they just dangle down and you can undo that. So you can just pop these two little side tabs here, if you can see those, and you'll just pop those and then this can slide on and off and you can slide it all the way out and there your keys are hanging on that. And then you can just take each individual hook off and put your key on that way. Now that's the way I think you're supposed to like take them on and off and pop the keys on. To be honest with you, I don't do it that way. I very rarely tend to take it off. I will tend to more just put the keys straight onto the hooks. And then you just slide it straight back in. But I'll just put the, I just keep it all attached and I honestly, I just put the key straight on, let me see if I can get that for you, straight onto the hook just there. And I just do that. It's pretty simple. I don't really take any keys in or out of this very often. Everything just stays in there. I keep my key fob in here. Um, I close it with the key fob in. I know some people say that they don't, it closes perfectly fine with the key fob in there. Some people say that they don't close it with the um, key fob in there, that they leave the key fob out. It really hasn't changed the shape or anything of my key holder, so I don't see the necessity in leaving it out. I leave it attached while it's in the ignition, while I'm driving, I don't take it off. So the only signs of wear that I would say with that is, and I don't know if this is gonna come up on camera because seriously, it is like the smallest, tiniest mark. And it's just this little tiny mark right there at the top. And I think that's just from the rubbing because it's rubbing on it. And that's, I feel like almost unavoidable. I haven't tried to clean this piece yet and maybe I should have, but I actually haven't cleaned it at all. I've done nothing to it. Like I said, I've been using it for seven months every single day. My toddler uses it, my husband uses it, I use it. It gets left laying out on our bench all the time in the kitchen and I have not seen really any wear and tear except for that. There is no wear and tear anywhere else on the canvas. The glazing is perfect. I've had no, no issues with that whatsoever. 
the stitching is great, the colour hasn't done anything, it hasn't worn, it hasn't faded, it stayed true to colour. So all in all, seven months of constant use and I can't exaggerate this anymore that I do not baby this piece and it is still in fantastic, excellent condition. I tend to, you don't have to do this, but I just thought I'd point it out really quick. I attach like a little O ring key here and I just find that that gives it a little bit more room to dangle when it's in the ignition and it just kind of is a bit more easy with movability and that kind of a thing. And it also sits down a little bit lower inside. If you can see, it sits down a little bit lower than the rest of my keys in there. Now when you do close it, it does slightly pop out the bottom there, but you can just push it back in and it's fine or you can just leave it hanging out and it doesn't bother me either way. You don't have to attach that little O, but I just think it makes it a bit easier. I've just got other house keys in here and then I also keep like a little, usually there is a little um, trolley coin on that for when I do my groceries, which I've probably just left in my car because that's usually where it ends up. Well, the other question, I should probably touch on this really quick. When I was buying this item, I was concerned of like, would it be difficult to get my key like into the door and would this like get in my way? And it doesn't surprisingly at all. It gives it just enough hang room. Put it in the door, twist it, and I'm good to go. I don't have any, any issues with that whatsoever. I do recommend it. I think that this is a fantastic piece for somebody who's wanting to get maybe into the luxury uh, market or this or maybe into Louis Vuitton the brand itself and you haven't really bought many other pieces and this is definitely something that maybe you could consider one it's not like obviously let's be real it is expensive for what it is but compared to some of the other items it's really an inexpensive piece compared to the other stuff we are talking about luxury items here so everything is expensive I just want to put that out there um, so yeah I mean I think it's a great starter piece, get a feel for the brand, get a feel for the quality, that kind of a thing. I also think that this is a fantastic gift and Christmas is, oh my gosh, can you believe it? Christmas is coming up so quickly. I cannot believe we are already like, it's not that far away at all. So this is probably, it's another great gift idea. The other thing that I love about it, and I didn't even, this just surprised me that this even happened, is I'm the kind of person I can never find my keys. I can never find my keys. And as, since I have had my keys in this key holder, I'm not kidding you, I've never lost my keys in my handbag once. It's so easy to locate, to find, and grab and go that I'm never searching through my handbag, like where are my keys, because I was always doing that. My mum is always doing that. Maybe I should get her one of these for Christmas because she is always losing her keys in her handbag. But yeah, it helps protect other items in your handbag too. If you do have a luxury handbag and you want to protect the interior of that bag from the keys, maybe damaging, potentially damaging the bag or dirtying other items or anything like that, the key holder is also great because it protects everything inside of your bag. Do I recommend this item? 150%. I think it is well worth the money in terms of how much you will use this piece. You'll use it every single day. That's really about it, guys. There's not a whole lot more to say about this piece. I love it. It's a favorite. It's gonna stay in my collection forever. I highly recommend it. It's a great starter piece. It's a great gift. I really just overall love this piece. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that it was helpful. I hope that maybe I helped make your decision whether that be based on the color of this particular piece or that be if you were on the fence about purchasing a six ring key holder. I definitely recommend it you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down for me in the comment section below. I will check those and I will try to get back to everybody. Well guys, we're at the end of this video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that I was on the right track. So I will leave it there. You have a great day, make it count, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.